Okay, so the chapter actually opens up with us continuing the fight between Wizard and Shiki. And I actually agree with something that Wizard says in the beginning of this chapter because, as you know from the last chapter at the end, Shiki realized that Wizard was pretending to be a witch and throw a punch at him. And in the beginning of this chapter, Wizard mentions that just three years ago, Shiki would not have been able to throw that punch even if he knew for a fact that Wizard was pretending to be a witch because his heart was too kind back then. And that over these past three years, his heart's been slowly bending towards the dark side, which I think is something we can all kind of say we kind of figured out about Shiki in this post time skip era of Eden Zero. He's definitely a lot darker and a lot meaner. Because I mean, if we look back to the Shiki pre the time skip back before the narrow 66 arc, he was definitely a lot more joyful, a lot more happy, a lot more playful. Then you compare him to the post time skip Shiki, and he's definitely a lot darker, a lot meaner, and a lot more serious. I mean, don't get me wrong, we definitely see that Shiki post the time skip is still very playful and joyful when he's around his friends and having a good time. But when he's in a very serious situation, he's definitely a lot less merciful than he was pre the time skip. And I mean, if you want two perfect examples to show that Shiki's definitely a lot darker and a lot more serious post the time skip, well, for one, like Wizard says in the beginning of this chapter, just three years ago, Shiki definitely would not have thrown that punch at him, even if he knew for a fact that Wizard was pretending to be Witch, just because he looked like Witch at that point. And two, he pretty much just says, he doesn't outright say it, but he pretty much implies that if Holly portrays him, which we already know that she's planning on doing, he's going to kill her. And I mean, at first glance, neither one of those things would be really that shocking for a main character, especially if you're used to the way Hero wrote his main character over in Fairy Tale, Natsu, because we see Natsu do both of those things plenty of times. We see him punch people who pretend to be his friends multiple times, and he's definitely threatened a lot of people throughout the series for trying to put his friends in harm way. But there's a big difference between Natsu and Shiki. Even though they both are very playful and joyful and very jokey when they're with their friends, when Natsu is in a serious situation, he's out for blood. Like, Natsu has no problem killing somebody if they get in his way from protecting his friends or putting his friends in danger. While Shiki, on the other hand, pre the time skip, even when he's in very dangerous situations where his friends' lives are in jeopardy, he still at most wants to just beat up the bad guy. Like, he doesn't want to kill them, he just wants to beat them up and, you know, make them submit. Like, I mean, think back to a lot of the big fights that Shiki had pre the time skip. Like, when he was going up against Homura's mother, he didn't even try to kill her even after all the horrendous things she did to Homura and killing Valkyrie. He didn't want to kill her then, he just wanted to beat her up. Look back to what happened when they were fighting against Drek and Joe and his team. He still didn't want to kill him after everything he did in the previous timeline. Hell, in the previous timeline, when they were about to die at Drek and Joe's hands, Shiki still said that he was just going to beat him up and then they were going to become friends, right before Drek and Joe killed him. And then in the new timeline, after Rebecca told everyone what happened, he still didn't want to really kill Drek and Joe. While on the other hand, post Tanshika Shiki is over here actively trying to kill his own grandfather by summoning a chrono phage to eat him, and he already trying to kill one of his new allies if she dares betray him. Now, a majority of the rest of the chapter is pretty much just us focusing on their fight. We do get to check in with everyone else for a quick second when Wizard's going over exactly what each of the other dark stars represent as far as like they're being them being the counterparts to the other shining stars, which we already went over in the last chapter, so I'm not sure why Hero's reiterating it in this chapter. But I gotta hand it to him, he actually made this fight more interesting than I originally thought it would. Because like I said in my last review, I actually thought that Shiki would be able to just completely wash Wizard pretty quickly, and I didn't think that Wizard would actually stand anywhere near a chance of defeating him. But Wizard actually pretty much holds his own by showing off all his attacks to Shiki, even though Shiki's able to dodge most of them except for the fire tornado pretty easily. He's still doing a pretty good job of keeping Shiki at bay. And then Shiki activates his overdrive, which surprises Wizard because he wasn't aware that Shiki had an overdrive, which surprised me because I thought that Ziggy knew pretty much how strong, I mean sure, we saw him asking LZ how strong Shiki was, but I figured that he saw everything that happened down on Narrow 66 during his fight against Shura. At least I'm pretty sure he saw the ending of that fight, right? I mean, he tuned in at the end after she literally right after Shiki beat Shura, he tuned in in order to tell him that he's throwing the bombs off, or setting the bombs off. Like, I figured he killed off Poseidon before the ending of their fight, so he was able to watch at least part of it, and he would have saw at that point that Shiki definitely had an overdrive because he was definitely using it at that point. So, it surprises me that Wizard wasn't aware of this. And then Shiki actually goes in to punch Wizard, but Wizard actually manages to block the attack, and while he's actually holding onto Shiki's hand, he absorbs all his Ether energy, knocking him out of overdrive, and then we end up finding out that he actually reused that energy to basically activate his battle dress in order to basically make himself a lot stronger than Shiki is currently. So, pretty much right now, Shiki's actually, despite what I originally thought would end up happening, He's actually on the ropes right now in this fight. Now, at the end of the chapter, right before Wizard actually goes into attack Shiki again, Shiki actually starts to have some of Wizard's memories, I guess because of the two of them interacting in the way they did in this chapter, but he actually ends up absorbing some of Wizard's memories, and we end up finding out that back in the day, apparently Witch and Wizard actually knew each other. And it's kind of weird because in this flashback that we get, this very brief flashback that we get to the two of them, they actually look human. They don't look like they're actually androids, which 
has me wondering did at some point Ziggy turn them into androids forcefully? Like were, they, were all the shining stars and all the dark stars originally humans that got turned into androids? Or did Hero just not draw the line marks that androids usually have on them? Which by the way, the kind of human looking witch in the flashback of this chapter kind of looks like Brittany from during the first arc. And this revelation that Wizard knew witch in the past is actually kind of interesting because in the last chapter after I got done reading that, I did hear a rumor that Wizard might end up joining the Zero crew. So now this actually might lead to that being somewhat true. Maybe at the end of this arc, Wizard actually changes sides because he remembers his past witch and actually blames her death on Ziggy and ends up joining the Eden Zero crew as her replacement. That actually couldn't make this, you know, I didn't believe it at first, but this actually kind of makes it somewhat plausible. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about the chapter, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.